Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to get your USB controller working with a program or software that doesn't support USB controllers. I mean there are some uh, games or even emulators that won't pick up your controller. This is how to get them to function without that. For this you're going to need your USB controller already installed on the computer and plugged in and you're going to need XPatter which is a uh, controller software. If you look down in the description I have a link for XPatter and it is free. So what you need to do first off is go to the desktop, right click, click new folder, call it XPatter. After you do that go down to the link in the description XPatter 5.3 latest freeware version or last freeware version sorry it'll bring you to this website freeware files now here you'll see download now click that and it will take you to this page over here to the right it says freeware files mirror us click on that you'll see this open up now this is a zip file so you'll need a zip extractor such as winzip winrar you can simply google it i use alzip uh, I just open them. I mean, you can save them or open them, but I'm just going to click OK to open. So click OK. Just follow along. All right, once it opens up, you'll see the extract button here. Click extract. And you're going to want to go down to that folder we created on the desktop. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll see XPatter. Click that. Click extract. All right, now we extracted it. You can X out of everything. Now we're going to want to go into the XPatter program we just downloaded. So go into that folder, open up XPatter. You probably won't see this. So you're probably just going to see start. So click start. And uh, I want it to save to the program location, that folder we created. And I just click associate. I don't know if it matters. I don't think it does. Now to use this program, you simply go up to this little controller icon, click it, go down to new, click that. And now what we're going to do is define the buttons for the controller. Uh, you can use the sticks, but you, yeah, if you click sticks here, you can click enable stick one. You hit left on the stick, then up. Now this stick is defined. If you go to stick two, you can do the same thing. If you don't have any sticks, don't worry this about this part. You can simply go to D-pad. If you click Enabled, it'll ask you to define it. So you just hit up on the D-pad, down, left, right. So now the D-pad's picked up. Now the buttons. Now when you click buttons, just simply click every button there is on the controller. Triggers, you don't have to worry about that, I don't think. Go to finish, click close. Now you'll see everything's already ready to go. Now the next step is to go into the program you want to use the controller on. So I'm going to use it for virtual NES because that was the question I got from someone, how to make the controller work if it's not recognized. You simply go into where the controller is and you find how, how the controller is defined. See, games use the keyboard automatically, usually, as the controller. So you'll see it says up, down, left, right, right shift, enter, Z and X. Now, you have to write these down. Okay, so I, I already know what the buttons are. Now what we're doing is, is we're basically setting up the controller to input the keystrokes every time it's hit. So like, when I hit up on the D-pad, I want that to register as the up arrow on the keyboard. You'll see the keyboard here and everything that is defined. So I'm going to click up. And for down on the D-pad, I'm going to hit down, left, right. Now since I'm doing a Nintendo emulator, I'm going to find the button I want. So I want this to be the B button, that'll be Z. I want this to be A, so that'll be X. 
and uh, start and select. That's it. So I want this to be right shift. I want start to be enter. Now that we have this defined, uh, the controller is ready to, ready to go really. So you can hit the X button because it will stay right here at the bottom if you see. Now I'm going to go back into that program. Nintendo. I'm just going to open up a game. Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden, however you want to pronounce it. And the controller is working. See what it's doing is every time you hit the button, it's almost as if you're hitting the keyboard. So it spoofs it. Since there aren't a lot of programs that use the uh, USB controller or have the compatibility, you can simply spoof the controller. And that's how you get a controller to work on a program that has no USB compatibility or poor USB compatibility for that matter. I've seen some games and some emulators that won't use it and you'll have to force it like that. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Also, go back to my channel and check out how to turn your USB controller into a mouse. I love to use the joystick here as the mouse. It's awesome. Alright, thanks for watching.